say, oh, donut, donut's terrible for you. Oh, banana's good for you. We should eat bananas. But in reality, kind of the take home message of that experiment was carbohydrates, regardless of their form, are going to cause a rise in blood sugar. And so if you are somebody who's pre-diabetic or diabetic type two diabetes, or has some type of, you know, obesity or insulin resistance, you need to really consider, or I would highly recommend you consider reducing all carbohydrates. I can't tell you how many type two diabetics I saw in the hospital that were like, oh, I only eat fruit and rice and all these healthy carbs. It's like, that does the same thing. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if it's in a cookie or an apple, they all break down to sugar. So, you know, we, we think that these moments of eating food are going to bring us so much joy. Like, oh, I love sugar. I love donuts. I would also ask you, do you really feel good? Do you feel joy? You know, maybe for like 30 seconds, but I, my life is so full of joy. And this meat is a delicious. I get to eat steak and butter. I get to eat cheese. I get to eat all these things that contribute to my health and my life. And then I get to move on. Food should not be something that you like eat and that you're obsessing about, or you get dizzy, shaky, you know, causes you to be fat and diabetic. That's a restrictive life. My life is freaking awesome. But when we eat, every time you have carbohydrates, you know, you have chips, crisps, cookies, even fruit, apple, you switch. It's very powerful. Insulin is a powerful hormone. It will shift. It will shut off your body's ability to burn fat for fuel. And so you have to keep eating those carbohydrates because you're no longer tapping into your own body fat. That's why you're hungry every two to three hours. You know, there's a lot of inflammation and oxidation that comes in when you're eating a lot of sugar and highly processed carbohydrates too. But there's thousands of us. Yes. that have been eating this way and have been able to change. And there's clinical trials, you know, we, we can reduce um, plasma glucose and increase insulin sensitivity in less than two weeks with a low carb diet, you know? So this is science-based and it is safe and sustainable. And I felt like the evidence really showed how a low carbohydrate diet can help. So I talk about type two diabetes, heart disease, um, sarcopenia, mental disorders, including major depression, anxiety, and eating disorders. Then I have a whole chapter on where this then guidelines came from because it's pretty bizarre. 